Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Teemo Jungle for season 12. For your runes, you're gonna want Dark Harvest or Press the Attack. This game, we opted for Press the Attack. That way we can tangle with Graves and our ganks will be a bit better in the early and mid game. Our scaling will be a little bit worse though without the Dark Harvest. So obviously Press the Attack, Triumph the Lacquer, the Coup de Grasse. We have Cheap Shot and Ravenous. I'm just gonna get a ward down on this side of my jungle. I wanna make sure Graves doesn't start here. If you don't work for your opposite side jungle, it's rare that your teammates will. You can ask them to, but it's not guaranteed. Oftentimes, it's easier to just have your teammates watch your starting buff while you work opposite side and get oracles. For your second summoner on Teemo, a lot of times I like to go ignite or exhaust. The only reason I didn't this game is because they have a Malphite and a Kiana, both of which their R's are life ending, and we need to be able to dodge those. We're gonna go invisible to get our attack speed bonus. The whole reason why Teemo can jungle is his E has bonus damage against monsters by a lot, 150% bonus damage, and his Q blinds them for twice as long as it does anything else. So Teemo's clear is actually pretty healthy, all things considered, and uh, pretty quick. Should be able to block roughly three auto attacks from Gromp, Red Buff, or Blue Buff if you time it properly. So here we easily block two from Gromp, even though it has a really slow attack speed. And each point you get in your Q, it gets higher. You are gonna max your E first though, since that's your main form of damage. Auto attack in the Q. Gonna auto attack on each one of them. Blind the big one since it does the most damage. And we are full health. Uh, that's just the power of Teemo. His blind art makes him take a lot less damage. Be careful not to reset your camp, but you do want to practice kiting it around. I think we'll actually go in for a full clear here. I don't think uh, top lane is very gankable. I'm going to go invisible. Ah, try to go invisible. Whenever you enter a, in a bush, you can save time going invisible because it puts your, your second and a half passive of standing still. It starts it whenever you enter a bush. You can go invisible even while moving in bushes. So there I accidentally stepped on the outside of the bush. I wanted to get the attack speed bonus. I'm gonna pepper him down once he gets in range to auto, then we'll hit it with our Q. We wanna get in the bush just in case Graves invades. I have a feeling he's not going to. If you wanna gank early, make sure you get your third level in your W, that way you can actually gank. If you don't, your ganks just aren't gonna work. I decided to do a full clear. It's not the fastest full clear out of any jungler in the game. There are meta junglers that can do 315s or even faster. That's all right. We'll be clearing as bad as fast as a uh, full clear Kha'Zix. Full clear Kha'Zix clears about 335. It's about what a team will clear out, except team will have more HP and team is much more threatening because he has ranged auto attacks and whatnot. So that was a Kha'Zix full clear. Let's go fight Graves. We're going to have to deal with Malphite, it seems. We're going to get rotated on possibly. I'm going to have to leave this area. I can't stay. I don't have lane prior. Ooh, okay. Never mind. My top laner just TP'd. I'm a little bit nervous about their mid laner though. If I see Graves, I'm gonna have to leave since their mid laner is missing. Don't know why Graves didn't come for this because he didn't feel comfortable trying to solo me. We see Kiana back in the mid lane. Uh, we'll just cross through. This is warded, unfortunately. I'm gonna set up a double caster creep for him. Oh, I was trying to set it up for him, but they ended up chasing me. I didn't actually want uh, any of the gold there. We do need him to push in wave. Having the wave push as a range champion can be very beneficial. Uh, in this case, it's not because he's actually out of mana. I might have to come back to help him. He's blowing through his mana way too fast because he started Dark Sill. When you have minion advantage, it forces the enemies to farm. And it's harder for them to hit you since your minions are pushing the wave for you. So you can hit them whenever they go to last hit. I got the wave shoved in. I can go back to farming now. Haven't really had a chance to gank anything. It is what it is. First item rush. If you're fed on Teemo, you're going to rush down Berserker Greaves. Otherwise, you want to rush Nashers or uh, Riftmaker. Nashers and Riftmaker are your best options on Teemo. Since their team has a lot of burst, I would actually rather have Riftmaker first. And I can still get a early Berserker Greaves for attack speed. If you rush straight for Nashers, if they have a lot of bursts like they have with the Kiana, Graves, Malphite, you're gonna get one shot before you can even pinch off a lot of autos from the Nash. Graves hasn't recalled yet. 
we should be able to farm faster than them with each point we get in our E. Now that we have three points in our E, we're actually able to farm very, very quick. It's bot side. We're going to go invisible here for the attack speed bonus up to 40% now. And it lasts for five seconds. They buffed it a lot. It's very, very quick. I wouldn't recommend doing Raptors on Teemo uh, unless you're at least level three normally. If you're doing Raptors before you're level three, you just take way too much damage. They're on Dragon right now. I'll run over here. I don't think I'll be able to get here in time, but I can at least shove mid lane. Got that shoved in. They'll miss out on the CS. Plus I got some golden XP. They all hop over fleeing for their lives. I don't know if they actually saw me. I think I could have killed Graves here with my attack speed bonus. Oh, that's not good. Got her. Oh, if you're wondering how we did that, we used the big golem to block the Graves autos. He's blinded. He's going to walk into our mushroom. We're going to W speed up. Oh, it was beautiful. So, yeah, we used the big golem to block Graves autos. We smited the big golem for uh, health. That was really, really close, though. That was a lot closer than I would have liked it to be. I didn't think Kiana was there. I would have figured she would have backed by then or kept running. That was quite the pickle. Happy we got the kill. You don't use your W that often on Teemo. And ganks, you use it once they see you. And uh, you, can, you can use it to move around in your jungle, but it is a really long cooldown. So if you don't know where the enemy jungler is and you think they might invade you, I wouldn't recommend putting your W on cooldown. You don't really need it for kiting out your camps, because Teemo has good damage plus his blind art. For your camps, you auto them down. Once they're in range to hit you, then you blind. Here we easily block two autos from Gromp with a level one blind art. We're going to go ahead and reset. We're sitting on a stupid amount of gold. We have a massive CS lead on Graves. Our E's 150% bonus damage is putting in some work. First item rush, I will go for the Leeching Leer, then I'll get tier two boots. Since I did get a kill, I could have just rushed down tier two boots. That would have been fine as well. Like I said, since their team has so much burst, we'd be better off getting the Rift Maker for the HP while simultaneously having the attack speed from Berserker Greaves. You only really want Sork Shoes or Lucidities if you're going full AP nuke one-shot team with Dark Harvest. If you're going for Press the Attack or Hellblades, Teemo, there's no real reason to go for Sork Shoes. It's just not really worth it. It's not awful, just not as good as Berserker Greaves, especially for early mid-game ganks. And overall damage output, even. All around is slightly worse. Big one can't even hit us. Our health is always full. With each stack of Ravenous Hunter you get, your clears will get that much better, healthier. And you heal a lot off of champions because of Teemo's high single target damage. Drop a mushroom. You can use your mushrooms to help you farm. You generally don't need it as long as you max E first. Your damage should be high enough. Graves isn't getting on top side or you reset. All right, looks like he reset. He's not over here yet. We'll leave the mushroom right there. And we'll take it. I don't want to throw a mushroom out in the open because then he can see it. And I don't want him to uh, run away. Auto attack Q, red smite him. He's dead. It's good. Ooh, I'm getting collapsed on. Oh, I'm dead. That's all right. At the very least, I got Malphite to rotate. I got Kiana R. It's something. I would have liked to escape. Malphite reacted really, really fast, and so did Kiana. It is what it is. Happens. Got the Blasting Wand, very close to our Rift Maker. Teemo Jungle is secretly one of the best. Not only one of the best junglers in the game for carrying, because of his raw damage output and outplay potential with his buff Blind Art that he got a couple of patches ago. He is also one of the best scaling junglers, as long as the enemy team doesn't particularly outrange you. Like if they have a Zerath or a Ziggs and Teemo's not great. They're relatively short range other than Malphite R, so we should be fine. If you have all three mushrooms, you might as well lay one. That way you get it on cooldown and the mushrooms last 
a while. This dragon's up in 40 seconds. We'll play around that. We'll set up some mushrooms over there right now. We can even skip these raptors. We'll finish wolves and go straight for it. Hands kind of wet. I'm drinking a banana shake right now. That cup is sweating on me. Condensation. Oh, God, Kiana. Champion's so scary. She doesn't have Oracle, so she doesn't particularly know where I am, at least. All right, I'm gonna just start the dragon. Looks like Graves is gonna play for Harold because they saw me in the area and I'm pretty fed. I have way more CS than Graves. And uh, he's not gonna wanna fight this. It would be really nice if you could blind dragons. Dragons and barons. I don't even think you can blind Harold. I don't think that's a thing. It's breaking my mushrooms. It's a turd move. Auto attack Q, auto attack, he's dead. He ran into my mushroom and uh, we got our press the attack off. If you're there to defend your mushrooms, it makes it really tricky for short range champions to break them. Oracles is annoying to team up, but like I said, you can play against it if done properly. We'll leave a raptor so it doesn't respawn. As Rail shoved up, he's gonna die. Rail's very low as well. As long as Morgana doesn't scare them away. Okay, I'm on a control word. I need to speed up with W. I couldn't quite finish real. I would have had to flash. And I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Oh, okay, nice. We got it anyways. It's awesome. Our red smite is the same exact range as our auto, so we could have red smited her too. That was my mistake. Canceled my auto like three times there, so we ended up getting away. That was tragic. Need a word in this bush. I'll heal off of Krugs, hold on to my blind art. Graves can't stop me. I see Kiana's top slide. I feel very safe because of that. Oh, there's someone over here. Auto attack Q. Oh, I couldn't get it. I have to speed up away. I would have killed him. His teammates are scaring the crap out of me. Rail, what do you think you're doing? She's dead. Juked out the Ezreal Q. Got him. Q auto attack. Auto attack Q. Down goes the Ezreal. We'll get this red buff. Nice cooperation from Morgana. Auto attack Q. Auto attack. <laughs> I think he got the red buff. He died for it though. He shouldn't have done that. I'll go ahead and clear this now. He already missed out on resetting it at a good time. I'm going to be playing in his jungle a lot. So we might as well. We can take camps at the same time at this point. This mushroom's gonna fade soon. I might as well. Oh, I was trying to drag the blue buff into it. Got our red buff burn, jungle item burn, and E poison on both of them at the same time, maximizing our damage. Easy red buff, get down a shroom. It's just so funny to me how Team of Farms monster camps full HP. Such a healthy farmer. I always want to keep one mushroom on you at all times for kiting people out. Kind of like a Caitlyn trap, they can't step through it efficiently. Yeah, you're dead, unless you have flash. I'll let Malphite get it, I'm a nice guy. I mean, uh, Nasus. I killed him anyways, though. I caught it. I was going to let Nasus have it since Malphite was playing dead. And then he, once I left, he flashed away. I was sneaky. Graves his bot side. We'll drop a Shroom. Per level, obviously, Shroom does more damage, more bounce range, and uh, the maximum you can hold at a time goes up. 
slow goes up. I didn't realize that. Put one here. Hold on to the other one. We need to get this pushed in. I'm in grave danger. Looks like they're chasing Jinx instead of going for us. I don't think I can... Can I get to Graves? Nah, not quite. Rail's going to be sad. Oh, I didn't get the assist. That makes me sad. Oh, well. One auto on each of them. Raptor stand, no chance. One of them's pushing up bot side. Path into it. Make sure you spread out your mushrooms a bit. <clears throat> you don't want them laid all on top of each other. Only in very niche situations. Generally hard to justify the value because they can use one oracles and destroy them all. Oh, cool. This is worded. <clears throat> Yeah, you guys are gonna have to step on that unless you got an oracles. I assume they laid a word in that bush. Play a little bomber man. Don't worry, team, I got it. Nice. Huge smite. Oh, I need to spend my gold. What am I doing? I feel so powerful and I don't even have one item. I can get a full rift maker and uh Huge chunk of Nashers, nearly completing it. This is your core build, really. Rift Maker Nash. After that, if they can't kill you, you go Robodon. If they can, you go Hourglass. Then after that, you'll usually go for a Void Staff or a Morello if you really need it. I usually don't like getting that. If you do need it, you need it though. Only if they have is like a Soraka or maybe a Warwick. Darius type situation. You got bounty gold off that bot turret. An extra 250 for them to split. So that's actually not that much considering how far ahead we are than them. They must have nerfed that. I feel like it used to be higher. Better to claim bonus. 250 split for their team. So yeah, it's just 250 splits, not 250 each. 250 each would be a lot. Let's throw this over right here. Give us some vision. Mushrooms are such a good vision tool. So we gotta spread them out. We'll put one right there. Got her. Red Smite on her. Down goes Kiana. She even had uh, Merc Treads. A lot of times on Teemo, you want to go to whatever laner shoved up, especially in the mid game, once you have mushrooms. So like if my these teammates are shoved up, I'll come up here and lay mushrooms, and then I can wait for them to react. Oh, I, you'd hope the, the enemies would try to get a flank and then they'd run into you. That's the goal, is to have them come to you and then you have your passive attack speed bonus. I'll attack Q. Bonk, he's dead. That's a double. I can't kill Malphite, he's gonna speed up off me. Might be able to get a few hits on him though. Moving a little bit faster. Nah, I can't hit him. Maybe Morgana goes in for the snare. Their Kiana is alive. She's looking to make something happen. I can't save the Morgana from that. One of my mushrooms nearly saved her. They probably know I'm over here. <laughs> We'll put one right there. These mushrooms are starting to die out in this area. Keep on spreading them out. I don't want to give Vigar this blue buff. I'm so much more fed than he is. I have a feeling he's going to try to take it. Yeah, it's just kind of scummy of him. He's got two kills. I can do way more with that blue buff with my mushrooms than he can. On the bright side, your jungle item gives you a lot of mana whenever you're in the jungle or in the river. So even if I'm spamming mushrooms, I still have decent mana at all times. It is nice to have blue buff though. So if I throw down a lot of mushrooms at once, I can run out pretty quick. Ok, 
fucking idiot a mushroom right there. Taking over all this space. I'll go shut bot the bot lane right now. That way NASA's can split top, I split bot, and we take up a lot of space because they have to slow down to clear out their jungle. Now have the shrooms split up enough to where they can only break two shrooms max with one oracles. Unless it was like a Ramus with Q on who could search the whole jungle with his oracles. Hiding underneath turret. No one can really solo Nasus. There's no way for them to handle this split. Their whole team comp is uh, team fight with the Kiana R, Malphite R. If you're going to deal with split pushers, you need counter split pushers like Jax, Fiora, York. Otherwise, they have to try to force up like a 5v3 mid. And if they can't, then they lose. Teemo, you can choose to team fight or split. Either is a good option. Only do split if you can solo anyone on their team, which we can. We'll play for Dragon Soul. No reason to be greedy and dive them underneath turrets when they have so much CC and damage. Get a mushroom down. We'll use this bad boy. We already have a mushroom on that plant. And uh, I guess we'll hop over. I only have one mushroom in my hand right now, so I don't want to use it. Might as well save it. They don't have any tool to steal this from range. I'm not gonna smite it. I'm gonna save smite for the scuttle. I'm gonna go back to splitting the bot side. I have the, the power to do so. It's very safe since their team fight's so strong. All it takes is one Malphite R plus one Kiana R and our whole team dies. Their Rs alone would do at least 80% of our team's health. Not including Malphite's E AOE, W AOE, and then Kiana's multi AOE abilities. I'll leave a mushroom there. And we could use another one right over here. So if they hold this tight and then they run this line to get here, they get hit. And if they run this way, they'll get hit. I want to have at least one mushroom in the main walking paths. I'll either have to stop and break him or get hit, which gives me vision and slows them. Everything's all shroomed up. No one's coming to stop me. <laughs> no one wants to fight Teemo Jungle, I guess. Teemo Jungle. Even though Teemo does have Blind Art, he can struggle against things like Zin Zhao or Warwick in the early game. If you do take Ignite you sh or Exhaust, you will be able to solo a Warwick or a Zin Zhao in the early game. As you start to scale up, you can start soloing them anyways. So we're back in the jungle. We have higher mana regeneration. It is higher per your missing mana. So right now it's only showing at 3.2. If I was almost out of mana, it would be like 12 or 15 mana per second, which is quite a lot. We're going to step back up, get a mushy right there. This whole area is shroomed up. They're trying to force that fight on my team right now. Even though their team fight's really good, it's still difficult because Vagar Cage can zone the whole fight. Ugh, I don't like this. Yeah, I'm gonna run. This is not a good situation. Back to the jungle. I want this red buff. I'm gonna try to slow them down as much as possible if they pop oracles. They're gonna have to stop to auto my shrooms twice and either one of them has fast attack speed. Yeah, don't worry Malphite, I'll lay another one right there for you, bud. Back to the split. My teammates can farm my camp, so I farm the enemy's camps. I'm also getting a lot of CS out of this. You don't really want to start split pushing until the 20 minute mark as a jungler because of the monster hunter debuff. If you have more than half of your gold from minions, then you start getting highly reduced minion gold and XP until after the 20 minute mark. So don't start splitting pre 20 or at least pre 19 minute. I'm gonna put one right there. We're back on the split. The goal is to draw someone in and then we kill them one versus one. 
Or if they send multiple people, as long as we don't die, it's a huge plus because then it lets our team push elsewhere. Morgana's out of position. She's going to die. They're going to lose turret out of them pushing for that Morgana. Massive negative for them. They might even lose inhib if they don't come to stop me. I think they're coming over here now. Yeah, I'm going to have my flash ready. Yep, that's why I took flash and not ignite or exhaust. I am going to die. It's going to let my team get uh, an inhib. Plus, I got an inhib, so it's definitely worth it. They're going to be indefinitely trapped in their base. We'll get the last turrets, and we'll get Dragon Soul, and they'll have nothing to show for it. They, uh, they cut off their arm to basically twist my nipples. They did cause me damage. But the damage they caused themselves is irreversible, and they will be feeling it here shortly. All right, let's get our Nash. Attack speed, we'll get Robidon. I feel like Banshees would be really good too against their team. They, I would have lived if Malphite... He, they got me because Malphite slowed me with his Q after he missed his R. So, probably just get a Banshees here. Give some decent stats. Ability haste, 80 AP, quite a lot. Looks like team's going to start on Baron. I'm going to split top now. I don't even need these mushrooms over here anymore. We're almost level 16. It's really going to up our mushrooms. Give them extra... 125 damage up the slow by 10% and give me more range to cast them to begin with Got it Uh, I'll go play for drag soul going for your last inhib is a good play. We might as well take soul and then push for it And the enemies are trapped in their base. So I guess I don't have to go. This was the whole point double inhib They can't leave I can push out for free Malphite tried to steal Dragon Soul, I guess. Didn't work out too well. Even if he got it, it wouldn't matter because it's not Soul for them. And then his team would have to fight 4v5 and then they would lose. They are in many lose-lose situations now. They all fight for Dragon. They lose base to our minions. They don't fight for Dragon. We get Soul. That's how I like it. All right, I'm going to hold on to this mushroom. She popped sweeper. Now they're going mid, so I'll toss one right there. Yeah, she looked for more mushrooms while it was on, but I didn't lay one. Sneaky, sneaky. Get one all the way up there. And that's probably GG's. Yeah, that is GG's. If you guys enjoyed this Teemo Jungle commentary guide for Season 12, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we had the third highest in the game behind Malphite and Jinx. Something to keep in mind with Malphite damage, it's a little bit saturated because in lane phase, he's constantly throwing out Qs nonstop, which adds to his damage dealt to champions. Meanwhile, Nasus is healing it off with his passive, so realistically, we're closer to number two. Then looking at damage taken, we had a decent amount of damage taken. We were the second or the third highest in the game. Looking at rune performance, Presti attack did a total of 881 damage. That's decent. We were doing a lot of splitting. Triumph healed us for only 394. Gave us 200 bonus gold. We got a lack at the 12 minute mark. That's kind of late. I like to get it before 12 minute. Kugras did 300 damage, Cheap Shot did 821, Ravenous healed us for nearly 4,000. All in all, Teemo Jungle is a whole lot of fun.